All right, hello, welcome back everyone. Welcome, welcome to our second ESI match of the day. This is going to be a round two winner's bracket match. Um, we are joined in the commentary booth again by Rila, hello. Hey. And uh, again, the Norwegian menace coming back for round two. It is cred ahead this time, hello. Yeah, hello, I did the win thing and I'm here again now. And uh, the unstoppable runner charging through the group stage in for the first bracket match. It is D-Max. Hello. 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 Uh, okay. They are set up for C number one. With that, we will get straight into it. You guys can begin the scout again. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. And let's see what is in the overworld in the seed. This is another pretty fast seed. You get again a choice between a village or buried treasure plus a ruin portal. So I don't know if either room scouted out the buried treasure. We saw the village. And depending on where you enter the nether, you spawn on a fortress. We see uh, Diva definitely spawning directly in that fortress. So could be a fortress first. And um, I believe there's only a housing option. Uh, so we see Cred checking out the overworld a bit more. This is a, a village or buried treasure. I don't think you can get both. I've seen a little bit of the buried treasure, and I think I'd almost always prefer that route. It just gets you iron so much faster and more reliably. But yeah, as they say that, Cred scoping out the village again, taking stock of his options. Yeah, those nine blazes to kill and right. 17 pearls in the first three gold blocks no string which makes me think maybe village ah uh, village could save a lot of time if you get beds and you only need to trade three gold blocks at the bastion they're just going to be waiting on string red starting first here he is off yep. uh is that the direction of the village and Dima heading a different direction towards the desert. Oh, you love it when seeds provide two different options and the runners take two different options. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, Dima here getting uh, seven fish, seven gold, 15 iron. That's a good looking buried treasure though. But uh, okay, so Dima going for buried treasure, ruin portal, shearing some sheep here. That's a smart okay. play. I wonder if he got any leaves also for blocks it doesn't look like it could have done that but it's going to enter from this usable room portal at about two and a half minutes cred going for a safer option getting five beds which means cred his bastion split should be very fast he just needs a couple of gold blocks he is out oh yeah Dima's in the red biome he's got to fight some hoglins and piglins Means he's going to be a little slower mining this out. He also doesn't have the availability to blaze bed, although I don't know if you'd want to do it on this type of a spawner. It's a little tricky already. It's no shield. Cred might have wanted to do some type of blaze bed or mining out of the spawner, but he's just getting these annoying blazes on the outside, so it's a little bit slower for him. Is he going to blaze bed? It doesn't look like it. He can make maybe a gold pick or something. He's just getting one spawn at a time. It's just a that little bit really slow for Cred. Yeah, he's going to start mining out. His Dima's already done. So that three beds total is doing the top-down route. Does get this chest. Puts on his gold armor. He's almost got a full set. Doing this manhunt. Oh, this is such an efficient route from Dima. This is so quick. Not wasting any time. Ooh, even mining Guild of Blackstone. To get you... Oh, wow, he's really going all out, dude. He wants wow. a lot of piglets very quickly here. Yeah, he's really going all out. Cred is still at the spawner. He gets a single spot every time, man. He cannot get blaze rods quickly. I think he's finally out. Oh, I think he's out at 7.30. As Cred is entering, a little weird of a route, taking a bit of time to maneuver around here, but actually that's all the gold he needs as Dima does nail the scattered travel directly into the portal room. His timer is A55. If he gets the fastest instant perch, if he hits that 7% chance, this is just barely sub 10. Literally, he needs a 7% chance. I think it's just possibly. And here we go. 
Dima gets a perch. It is not going to be sub 10, but still an incredible fast pace. Oh, with the one really eight three bucks. Dima's unstoppable. Is anyone going to stop this man? Uh, that was a really clean one cycle. <laughs> All right. Welcome back, everyone. We are here again for seed number two. Credit Ahead versus D-Max. First seed was very quick. And uh, hopefully this one is just as exciting. With that, we will begin the scouting in three, two, one, go. Good luck. So yeah, this one, another room portal. There is a desert village. There is a desert temple with uh, five diamonds, which I don't think either of them has scouted yet. There is a completable rune portal here. Um, so the overworld is very kind to them. They have a lot of stuff going for them in the overworld. Um, the downside to this seed is the travel to the first bastion is a little bit gross. It's a little bit gross to uh, travel to, I think a treasure bastion is the most playable, but then the fortress is pretty decent and open. So I'm expecting uh, they'll have a lot of stuff, a lot of fun with the overworld. With Desert Temple rune, rune portal action, it's pretty fun. Mm. Wow, Dima spawning fairly close to the fortress. Looks like he did the scouted travel from a housing bastion, which I thought was a little bit too far away. He gets a 1200 block away. Cred looking for his scouted travels about 840 blocks away. I'm guessing he did that from the fortress, maybe? What, what are your guesses in chat? How many TTs think... are we gonna see total from both runners in this whole run? Oh, okay. Well, between the both of them, yeah, between the both of them. one. Okay, I'm gonna guess one as well. I don't even, okay. Dima has spent like four I'm... minutes in this nether. I don't even think he's seen the temple yet. <laughs> no, you know what? Dima's played a lot of other versions. I think he understands the utility of TNT more than 116 Mars. I'm gonna say two. I'm gonna say they're gonna use two TNT the whole combined. Four? Ooh, that's generous. Uh, yeah, four is. For Flint. Four is really guessing a lot. I don't know if they're gonna use it for Flint. I would love it if they would, but I'm prepared to be disappointed. Cred getting. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Craig getting four logs and going to the desert temple, or, uh, yeah. Oh, he's getting stone tools from here. Okay, I don't like this play either. Uh, I think you gotta use the TNT to detonate the stone. This is kind of slow. Why is Absolutely. he doing this? You just I get... don't know. I'm such what? a fan of, like, two logs drop into the temple, yeah. right? You know? Yeah, he could've got sticks on the way to the temple, and there's five diamonds. You get a diamond pick as soon as you get into the temple. Why would you mine anything with a wood at, with a wood pick? I'm so confused. Temples are so great. I, I'm okay. on, I'm so on board with Emily's take. You know, but why why not get it? Yeah. So Cred's doing it. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me you're not. He's gonna skip the TNT. Uh, no. <gasps> don't do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cred, go back. Go back down and get it. If you guys are guessing at home how much TNT the runners are getting used combined, if you guessed four, you are wrong. If you guessed two, you are wrong. If you guessed one, you are also wrong. The runners did pick up a single TNT. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Dima entering the spawner. This is the second spawner he's been at. These are both enclosed. I might say quite the good opportunity for using two TNT on either side of the blaze spawner. He's mining it out with a wood pick. Dude, I have five diamonds. <laughs> you know, you know what's so much Why better than a wood spending? pick? TNT is so Steam much better. A diamond. <sighs> I... Let's see, what do we got here for cred? So yeah, Dima going for the fortress first, which is much closer, but cred going for um yeah this farther housing bastion so entering bastion later but actually done very quickly here and now he has the opportunity to pearl over the fortress because he did bastion first so maybe we'll see some pearls here he's got plenty of food uh dima taking a risky housing top-down route hitting the pigs i think but he'll be good now and credit the spawner i think up a little bit before Dima doing an immediate blaze bed because he does have fire as and plenty of food, so um, he's going to be able to play the spawner much more aggressively. 
Uh, as cred ahead. Yeah. As his name suggests, he is ahead. Going to his nether exit now before Dmax gets out of the bastion. Oh my uh, god, Dima is in the is Dima in the portal room? Oh, they both traveled out very close to each other, but Dima Oh, he's gonna have to look up cords. Oh, this is gonna be the decider here, maybe. Cred is gonna get to the setup. And Dima still has to stronghold. Now he's gotta find his cords through the uh stronghold now. Oh, Dima finds it. Dima's in. About 30 seconds after. Okay. But I think Cred might actually be even more ahead from the timer. I think Cred's maybe 45 seconds ahead. Cred, purling in the center. That is a perch. Wrong side, yeah. he's got a switch. Should have plenty of beds. He does trigger the first one early for the correct height. Second one was a panic one. He didn't need to do that second one. Does he hit this? Cred, no! No way! No! Cred, Cred no! You had it! You had it! Oh, he could have put an end to Dima's unstoppable reign, but Dima double pearls to the center. He's cool, he's calm, he's collected, and Dima's gonna hit it. Oh my guess. god. Dima just consistent, not making mistakes, coming in clutch once again.